This quick win video is how to create a fillable PDF. Now this is something that you might want to do for your own business or you might want to do it for a client. It's, it's really handy because often what will happen is people will get a workbook, etc. they'll print it off and then they'll write on it. But sometimes it's quite nice to be able to fill it in online. It might be that they don't have a printer um, or we might just prefer that method. So being uh, having the option is actually really good. Now I'm going to be using this here. This is uh, pdfescape.com. It's completely free. Now this screen, this is um, Windows. I've got a Windows laptop, but this might look different to you if you have a Mac. Um, it's quite an old fashioned website actually, but it does the job and, um, and it's completely free, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I've got my document ready just to show you an example form with different types of um, fields in it. I'm going to save it as a PDF. So save as desktop. Save as a PDF. Just make sure I am definitely on the desktop. Yeah. So you start off with your PDF. So we've got one here. Um, so that's ready to go. We go to pdfescape.com and we're going to go for the free online version. There is a desktop version and there is a paid version, but I haven't used any of those before. I'm going to select upload PDF and choose the file. And then we're going to go for the fillable PDF here. OK, now there's quite a lot of different things that you can do on here, but I'm going to sort of basically show you um, the, the simple stuff because it's a quick win and you can explore the other features if you want later. So you'll see here. If there was more pages, you would see them more here. We've got the example form. We're going to go to form field. And you've got here the different types of form fields that you can use. The ones that I am going to show you today, because these are the ones that you'll use the most, will be text, text paragraph and checkbox. But you could use any of the others, depending on what type of form it is that you're filling in. So we'll go for text. And then basically, you kind of get the little box. Now it looks green on my screen, but it won't be green when this is done. When you actually look at the completed PDF, it's not green. So don't worry about that. And then you just click on where you want the next one. And you drag and drop basically and make it the size that you want. What you could do as well, actually, is um, let's do this last one. Um, but there is a way that you can click and just duplicate. So if you've got all the different boxes that you want to um, complete of the same size, then what you can do is just right click, duplicate, and it makes a box exactly the same size as the one that you've just done. So we can do that and then duplicate again. So let's sort of fill that in. Cool. So we're good to go here. Now, if the rest of your form is, say, Arial or um, you know, it's in Verdana or whatever, and it's a different size, you can also change those here. So we're going to go for um, Arial, but I'm going to make it 11. And you can also decide what color you want it as well. So when someone starts typing in, it's a different color completely, um, or whether it's bold or in italic as well. So that's how you would do, um, do those. Um, and again, let's just do the last one, we might as well and pop that in there. So all those forms are now done. Now we want to do the checkbox here. So we're going to go to form field and we're going to select checkbox there. And then boom, you literally just click exactly where you want it. And again, you would drag um, those corners to make it the size you want. It automatically adds a tick in it, but if you click, you can remove it. I think it's better to do that. Click again. Drag it right on on tick. So that's how you would then do the check boxes. And then the last one is the paragraph. So I want this section here to be um, fillable. So I'm going to go back to form field. I'm going to collect, uh, select, sorry, text paragraph. And then you literally, boom, drag the area that you want it to be. So I want it that area to be for them to be able to, someone to be able to type into it. So we're going to do that and that's it. We're done. You would then save document here and then download using the green arrows here. 
Now, when I save it, I'm actually going to save it and add the word fillable at the end so that I know that it's the fillable version. Save it to my desktop. And then what we'll do is we'll have a little look and I'll show you what that looks like now it's completed. I mean, you see, you saw how easy that was. So let's open that. Here we go. And as you can see, the areas that you can complete are now, well, on my screen, they're sort of like a pale grey colour. Um, and if I go here, blum, 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 that is exactly what it looks like there. And I could also go back and edit it if I wanted this section to be a different size here as well.